Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to answer this question, let's take a look at the citric acid cycle lesson from my Metabolic Pathways Mastery course. This mastery course will walk you through in a step-by-step -step manner how to memorize all the important metabolic pathways for the MCAT. And in the very bottom, I test you on the entire citric acid cycle. And if we take a look at this diagram, we'll notice that CO2, NADH, and GTP, and FADH2 are some important byproducts from this reaction pathway. Also, notice that NAD+, as well as GDP, phosphate, and FAD are all substrates that are used to create the byproducts of this reaction pathway. Taking a second look at the question stem, if the Krebs cycle is overstimulated, what molecule would be overproduced? It's going to be a byproduct. CO2 is one of the major byproducts from this reaction pathway. Oxygen is not involved in this pathway. GDP and NAD+, Remember, we said that those are substrates used in the creation of the byproducts in this reaction. Therefore, they're not correct either. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page to request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.